Welcome to section 17.1. All right, gentle people, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about solution chemistry in chapter 17. Now, before we get started, we should do a bit of a review about the vocabulary that we discussed before. So again, we're talking about solutions, and solutions, remember, are a mixture. They are not a fixed composition. Now, a mixture is going to be made out of two or more pure compounds. So when we describe a solution, there are two major parts to it, the solute and the solvent. Now, if you take a look at these definitions, what you'll notice is there is not the phase of these things. So to get a solute or solvent or identify these things, we are not basing it off the phase of the material. Instead, what we are basing the solute and solvent off of is the amount of material. The solute is something that is dissolving into the solvent. So what you can say is that the solute is present in less amount. Now, the thing that is present in more amount, well, that is going to be the solvent. This is to highlight when you have a mixture of two different liquids. You can't look at the phase and say, oh, the liquid is the solvent because you have two liquids. Same thing when you have two solids. You have to look at which one is present in a greater amount. Now, when we start talking about this, we're going to start talking about something called solubility. And solubility is the amount of solute I can put into my solvent. And so that means what we're or what we're going to have to express is the ratio of solute to solvent. Now, this is called concentration. And so this is why we talk about concentrations with mixtures and solutions, because they don't have a fixed ratio. Now, previously, whenever we said concentration, we told you guys to use molarity, and that's the moles of solute per liter of solution. Now, in the beginning, we also touched about mass percent. We didn't get too much into it, but that's the grams of solute per grams of solution. When we started talking about gases in chapter five, we used the mole fraction, moles of solute per moles of solution. Now in chapter 17, we're gonna talk about the colligative properties. One of the most useful ways to express concentration when discussing the colligative properties is molality. And molality is going to be the moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent. And I want you guys to be careful because previously, we always did it per solution, and molality is different in this respect. Now, what I need you guys to do is be able to change from one concentration to another type of concentration. So we're gonna start with our quiz, and with our quiz, what I want you to do is use this information and calculate the molality for me. After this quiz question, there's another question that I want you guys to tackle and see if you guys can decipher it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this quiz question. So what we start out with is 20.5% NaCl, and this is our mass percent. So what that means to us is that if I were to have 100 grams of solution, 20.5 grams of it would be NaCl. Now, I just picked 100 because it's an easy number to work with. You guys could have picked 1,000, and then you would have had 205 grams, or any number you feel comfortable with. Now, what we want to do is we want to get to molality. And what we know about molality is that is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if I want to go ahead and do the moles of solute, well, we'll start out with having 20.5 grams of NaCl. Now, if I go ahead and take the molar mass of this using the periodic table, one mole of NaCl, I know is 23 sodium plus chloride at 35 grams per that empirical formula. So if I were to do this calculation out, I get 0 0.35 moles of NaCl. Now let's go ahead and try to do the kilograms of solvent. Now remember, it's solvent. And a solvent is something that makes up my solution. And so I had 
100 grams of solution. And that solution is made out of two things, my solvent and my solute. So if I were to go ahead and subtract the amount of solute, well, I have 20.5 grams of solute, or in other words, 20.5 grams of NaCl. Now what that leaves me with, and I get 79.5 grams of solvent. But I don't want grams, I want kilograms. So I can go ahead and move the decimal place three times. So 0 0.0795 kilograms worth of solvent. And now what I can do is I can put these two numbers together. So 0 0.35 moles of my NaCl over 0 0.0795 kilograms of solvent. Now, if we go ahead and calculate that out, what I get is I get 4.4 of as my molality. Now, to abbreviate molality, we're going to use the small m, not big M. And you usually refer to it as a molal. So this would read 4.4 molal. So there's your answer for you gentle people. Now let's go ahead and tackle the next quiz question. The next quiz question that you guys tackled was this one. And what the important thing to remember here is that mass and moles are not affected by temperature. This is just a set amount. You're counting things and things take up that space. The only thing that is affected by temperature is volume. So if we take a look at this, this is just mass and mass, moles and moles, moles and mass, but molarity has a liter term in it. It's moles per liter. And if I'm changing the volume as a consequence of changing the temperature, well, the molarity is going to be different at different temperatures. So like I mentioned before, I want you guys to be comfortable changing between concentrations. So here's a little bit of practice for you guys to test yourself on. We're still using that 20.5% solution of NaCl. I give you the density. See if you can go back and forth and get these numbers. Well, Chem1C, I hope that made sense. And remember, Chem1C, to stay safe.